Hello and welcome to Minute with Nature. I'm your host, Lauren Missouri, the park naturalist for West Bloomfield Parks. And today we're outside our nature room talking about snapping turtles. Early in June, you might start to notice lots of little holes along the nature trails, and those are snapping turtle nests. So let's learn a little bit more about this really amazing creature. A snapping turtle can be identified based on its shell shape, also its size. So the shell shape has triangles at the end of the shell, whereas most other turtles have a circular shell. And then their size, they're the largest turtle that we have in Michigan. And the size to record, the biggest one in Michigan was 86 pounds. But the, on average, they're 20 to 30 pounds. You can find them mostly in the wetlands. They spend most of their days swimming or sitting at the muddy bottom of a, a lake or a wetland area. And the diet that they eat is mostly wetland food as well. They're omnivores, so they eat meat and plants. And they're also scavengers, so they eat dead things, which is great for us. They play a really important role in the food chain. They're kind of like the garbage men of the wetland world. They clean up a lot of the dead things that we don't want to see in our lakes. They do nest along the West Bloomfield Trail, so as you take hikes outside, you might notice um, sandy areas that have been dug up kind of in a circular uh, fashion. They put about 30 eggs or so inside the nest and cover it back up with sand. And the really cool thing about snapping turtles is the determination of whether or not that snapping turtle hatches as a male or a female is based on the soil temperature during incubation. Um, a lot of times snapping turtle eggs are used as food for other animals, so you will notice some nests that have been dug up and they become a really good food source in the spring for raccoons. Now if you do see a turtle crossing the road, more than likely that turtle is there to make its nest um, or go back to the wetlands after laying its eggs. So please make sure that if you see a turtle crossing the road and you want to help, that you continue to face it in the direction that it's already going. Also remember that snapping turtles are very large and they do snap. Um, they have a very large and strong jaw. So if you are going to help a snapping turtle across the road, it's recommended that you use a tool or shovel of some sort and that you don't use your hands because they can reach from their neck around to the back of their tail. So you want to make sure that you keep your fingers safe from those strong jaws that the snapping turtles have. And that's your minute with nature.